My name is Vance Swisher. I'm the Fire Chief of the Stewartville Fire Department. On behalf of the 35 members here at the department, we want to welcome you to our department and your community. We have 35 dedicated members here that respond to over 500 calls for service annually from anything from a medical call to a structure fire. These individuals are dedicated to your safety and respond anytime, day or night, to meet the needs of our community. Being the fire chief of the city of Stewartville is probably one of the most rewarding things that I've done uh, in my volunteer career. Uh, the opportunity to not only serve the citizens of Stewartville and the surrounding townships, but also to provide leadership and guidance to the fire department has been a uh, fulfilling opportunity for me in this community moving forward. You know, we've got a, a lot of dedicated individuals that put in a tremendous amount of time here at the department to make sure that our citizens remain safe. Each member is required to go through firefighter one and two within the first 24 months of their uh, time with the department, and then also have to be a minimum of an emergency responder uh, so that we can respond to not only fire-related incidents, but also to medical incidents here in the city of Stewartville and also the surrounding townships. Uh, we're lucky that we have these volunteers that are basically covering and protecting our community on a 24-7 basis so that even during the day when most of us are at work, We've got individuals here in town that are doing what they need to do, leaving work, uh, leaving their home, and providing protection to our citizens. My dad was a firefighter ever since I was a little kid. I think he joined uh, the fire department in Leroy shortly after I was born. Uh, so I grew up around it, um, loved everything about it, always wanted to become a firefighter. Uh, as soon as I was old enough to followed in his footsteps and got on the fire department and served alongside my brothers and my dad. Um, served alongside my mom on the ambulance service. Uh, it's just always been a big part of my life. Um, something I want to pass along to my kids. Uh, show them that it's important to do something that you're passionate about. Be able to give back to your community. Help people out when they're in need. Well, um, I'm Greg House, uh, Sturtville vol Volunteer Fireman. Uh, I'm actually an engineer. I run these trucks uh, that are beside us. I've been on the uh, fire department for 38, actually I'm going on 39 years uh, on the Sturtville Volunteer Fire Department. I'm also a uh, first responder. The fire department is very dear to, to me. It has been to our family. My dad is a retired uh, Sturtville Fireman of 20 plus years. Uh, we've been in the community since 1923 in the uh, car business. My grandfather started uh, House Chevrolet. Uh, I'm the third generation. Uh, we really enjoy this community. That's why we spent our whole life here in this community. The fire department, you know, gives back to the community. That's one thing that I like is being able to uh, help people, uh, children, adults, uh, elderly people uh, in the need of medical or any fire needs. My name is Joe Manning and I'm the training officer here at the Swerville Fire Department. Uh, born and raised here in Swerville, been here for 35 years. Um, one of the interesting things that I get to do is I get to align all the training for the guys and, and the gals here on the department to make sure that we keep up with uh, everything that's going on with what, what full-time firefighters need to keep up with as well. Um, the often misconception is that as a volunteer fire, firefighter, we, uh, we have less requirements and less training and, and that's not ultimately the case. We have to go through the same certification process that, uh, that our full-time brothers and sisters do. Um, one thing we do here, uh, we, we do weekly training, so every Monday night we're out here. Um, total, I'd say we're looking at probably about 2,500 uh, hours total within the department in a, in a typical training year and that's probably a lowball estimate. Um, we have a minimum of two Mondays. Uh, everybody needs to be here out, out here every month. And then uh, we have optional training as well as our, uh, our um, emergency medical service training is um, typically every other month, and that's also mandatory. My name is Ryan Podine. I'm the uh, chief engineer here at the uh, Stuartville Fire Department. Um, that's basically a, uh, makes me in charge of keeping all the apparatus around here. I have 11 vehicles keeping all the apparatus in uh, operating condition to make it safe for the firefighters to uh, get to the fire and fight the fire. Um, some of my favorite parts of uh, the fire service are uh, helping people in time of need. It's really gratifying when you can put all your years of training and uh, 
service and the tools, special tools we have here and uh, help people in time of emergencies and make their life uh, a little better, a little bit easier. Uh, it's really, uh, really enjoying and gratifying. I want to help the uh, patients or people appreciate uh, what we can do for the community also. Hi, my name is Steve Denny. I'm a lieutenant with the Servo Fire Department. I've got 37 years of experience. In my role as a lieutenant, I lead firefighters for training and, and actual firefighting duties. I work with newer members of training them, whether it's driving, um, interior attack, tool use, pretty much all of, all of the aspects of the fire department. I'm Lisa Jelnick. I'm the EMS director for Stewartville Fire and Rescue. I've been a member of the fire department for almost 14 years now. Uh, my job as the EMS director is to review all of our runs, make sure we have all of our supplies, and just help guide the department in further developing our EMS education. Last year, we responded to over 400 EMS calls, which came out to approximately uh, 17 to 1800 hours that we've put in. We respond to every type of call from trauma to chest pain, diabetic emergencies, anaphylactic reactions, and we serve the entire population from kids all the way up to our senior citizens. Justin Loney, a lieutenant here on the Stewartville Fire Department. Uh, I, I joined the fire department like a lot of people uh, for, for a good sense of community to give back to the town that's given me so much. Um, but being a first responder is kind of in my blood as well. My, uh, my grandfather's a paramedic, my father's a police officer, uh, so being able to follow in their shoes uh, is, is, or go along with the family tradition has definitely been uh, special to me. My name is Mike Podine. I've been with the Stuartville Fire Department for about 25 years now. Um, I was born in Stuartville, grew up in Stuartville. Um, thought it'd be nice to help serve the town in a way. The fire department seemed the way to do it. I enjoy the camaraderie of people that normally I don't see through the rest of the week. Um, I started as just a firefighter, worked my way up through the ranks. I'm now a captain, which means that we have a chief and assistant chief above us. Then we have two captains. We oversee the lieutenants and then they oversee their squads. Um, doesn't mean that I'm any better than the rest of them, but that's kind of the chain of command. They're going to ask us if they need some help. Hopefully I can answer some questions for them. I've been in business in Stuartville for 30-some years now. I'm self-employed. Um, that works well. We're usually one of the first ones down to the hall. We've devoted our, our life to the town and to the fire department. I have a son. My brother that's in business with me is on the fire department. He has a son, so there's four of us involved. Um, we try to make it work, depending on the severity of the accident or of the, the call. We try to send as many as possible to help out any way we can. Um, I think we're going to be here for a long, long time yet. So we'll proceed to stay in town and, and retire from the department when we see fit. Um, but with the two sons coming up, they'll continue to help out. And if everything works out, maybe we've got some grandsons that might come up and help, help in the same way again. Steve Wolf, I'm uh, currently Assistant Chief. I'm, I've been a member for 20 years now. I've got 33 combined years of service in, in the fire service. And I guess the reason I'm doing this is because it's, it's basically it's my passion. Uh, I grew up with it. My father was a 30-some year member. My uncle was. My older brother was on for 35 years. And it's just something we grew up with. As kids, we would go to the fire station, and sit in the fire trucks and play with them. And it just always been part of my life. It's a nice group of people we work with, and it feels like a team effort. It's not just one person who does something here. It, it's a group, it's a team effort, and I, I like that. 